couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to yet another awesome finger style lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which we'll keep exploring the insane amount of possibilities you have with a D chord when you add different bass notes to it. Okay, we've already had a couple of lessons on a D chord with different bass notes, but there's a really crazy option that sounds insane when you think about it first. Um, you can use G, C, F sharp, B, F, B flat, E, and A as different bass notes for a D chord. Okay, up till now we've uh, we've discussed the um, the scale options. We've discussed the D major scale. Okay, we've discussed the D minor scale, and we've discussed how the D chord changes with different bass notes. Okay, so we're gonna take that last option and really go crazy with it. Because when you have G, C, F sharp, B, F, B flat, E, and A, basically you're playing the sixth and the fifth strings um, on three, two, one, and zero. Okay? And you have D, right? So you have the D string as well. So you have D, G, C, F sharp, B, F, B flat, E, A, D. So that's a really interesting way to lead the bass because it's half chromatic. It's half chromatic and half 2-5-1-ish. Um, 2-5-1 two five one two five one is using uh, the circle of fifths, which is a big theory uh, name for just um, jumping in a certain interval between chords. And you get that in all the songs you know, basically. Uh, we're not gonna get into it, but every song you have G, and then you have E minor, A minor, D, and then back to G, that's the circle of fifths. And uh, that's kind of like an extended 2-5-1 move, so that's what it means, okay? We'll not continue discussing it right now because it's not relevant to our lessons. Um, okay, so this is basically the move. Okay, the sixth and the fifth strings on three, two, one, and zero, and then back to D. So you need to take the finger off of the E string, right, and use that for the bass notes at first. Okay, so for G, basically you get a G add nine when you do D with a G bass. If you add two on the E string, then you add then you get G major 7. You, you can use the pinky. Okay, then it's G major 7 add 9. Okay, or D over G. And when you have C, it's kind of a D7 chord with the 7th on the bass. Or if you open the E string, you get, you get C, 6 add 9. A beautiful chord, right? Then if you have the F sharp bass then is just a D chord with the F sharp on the bass instead of the E string. So you get D add 9 because of the open E string with F sharp. With B, it's B minor 7. Okay, B minor 7 add 11 again because of the open E string. With F, things become interesting. This is D minor. D minor add 9 because in D minor you have F, so you have the F on the bass. Or you can treat it as F major 7 add 13 or F6 major 7 because in F major 7 you have the open E string and this is the 6th. So you see, it's, it's interesting, that's it interesting. When you have B flat, you have A really strange chord. Now, you can call it by many different names. It can be B major 7 flat 5. It can be a sort of a G minor, G minor 6 add 9 with a B flat bass. 
and we'll stop here. And when you have E, you basically have E7 sus four. Okay? Okay, this is the full chord with two and two on strings five and four. So you have okay, strings one, two, and three. You can put the whole thing. Just remember to open the E string. So you kind of have to, you know, cram that finger in and twist it. And when you have A, you have A sus four. So those are your chords. And if you do it in sequence, you get a really interesting thing. possibility and um, the more you the more you explore the, the the sequence that sequence you find that you can uh, that you can change the order of course um, but the initial thing is that baseline what you do with it afterwards is your choice you can crazy you can create different connections um, so that's another way to manipulate a D chord with different bass notes uh, I'm addicted to try and finding uh, to trying to find ways to manipulate a D chord with different bass notes because it's it's a treasure trove you always figure out something new and when I figure out something new I share it with you so I'll see you in the next lesson subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet hey okay? there's a ton of lessons here already check the playlists and I'll see you the next one Bye for now. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.